वेलकम स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ज्योमेट्री ज्योमेट्री हैज मैनी यूजेस इट हेल्प्स अस टू अंडरस्टैंड साइज शेप पोजीशन और वॉल्यूम ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इन स्कूल्स इट हेल्प्स अस टू डेवलप लॉजिकल रीजनिंग आर्किटेक्ट्स इंजीनियर्स यूज ज्योमेट्री टू प्लान बिल्डिंग्स रोड्स एंड ब्रिजेस Geometry is used by navigators to guide boats, planes and even spaceships. Everything we do in our daily life involves geometry in some way. Let's learn about angles in triangle. Now, angle is the figure formed by two rays which have a common end point. Now, let's understand the meaning of triangle. If we split the word triangle it would be tri plus angle tri means 3 so that means in a triangle we have three angles see in the picture here a b and c are the three angles let's learn the angle sum property it says if we add all the three angles in a triangle it will give us a total measure of 180 degrees see in the picture if we add angle 1 angle 2 and angle 3 in this triangle it will give us a measure of 180 degrees this is known as angle sum property let's see an example how to find out the measure of missing angle in triangle in triangle abc we are given measure of angle b equals to 45 degrees and measure of angle c equals to 50 degrees let's find out the measure of angle a now according to angle sum property we know sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so it means angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equals to 180 degrees now let's just plug in the values of angle b and angle c in the equation we get angle a plus 45 degrees plus 50 degrees is equals to 180 degrees now it will give us angle a plus 95 degrees is equals to 180 degrees on subtracting 95 degrees from both the sides we get the measure of angle a that is 180 degrees minus 95 degrees is equals to 85 degrees so measure of angle a is 85 degrees let's learn about different types of triangles now on the basis of angles triangles can be of three types it could be scalene triangle it could be isosceles or equilateral triangle let's start with scalene triangle a scalene triangle is one in which the measure of all the three angles is different see in the picture in triangle pqr measure of angle p is 99 degrees measure of angle q is 42 degrees and measure of angle r is 39 degrees so all the three angles are different in measure one more point to remember in scalene triangle measure of all the three sides is also different let's practice an example in triangle pqr we are given the measure of angle p equals to 56 degrees and the measure of angle r equals to 60 degrees we need to find out the measure of angle q using angle sum property we know angle p plus angle q plus angle r is equals to 180 degrees on putting the values of angle p and angle r we get 56 degrees plus angle q plus 60 degrees is equals to 180 degrees it will give us angle q plus 116 degrees is equal to 180 degrees on subtracting 116 degrees from both the sides 
we get the measure of angle Q which is 64 degrees. Now if we see all the three angles in triangle PQR are of different measure. That means triangle PQR is a scalene triangle. Let's learn about second type of triangle that is isosceles triangle. In isosceles triangle measure of two angles is same and also the measure of two sides is same. See in the picture. In triangle ABC measure of angle B is equal to 40 degrees and measure of angle C is also 40 degrees while the measure of angle A is 100 degrees. Now here the measure of angle B and angle C is the same. So triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Let's practice an example. In triangle PQR we are given with the measure of angle P which is 80 degrees and the measure of angle R which is 50 degrees. We need to find out the measure of angle Q. From the angle sum property we know sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So angle P plus angle Q plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's just plug in the values of angle P and angle R. We get 80 degrees plus angle Q plus 50 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. We get angle Q plus 130 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. On subtracting 130 degrees from both the sides we get the measure of angle Q equals to 50 degrees. Now from the figure we get to know that measure of angle Q is equals to measure of angle R which is 50 degrees. Now in isosceles triangle we know that two angles are equal in measure. So it means triangle PQR is an isosceles triangle. Let's learn about equilateral triangle. In equilateral triangle, measure of all the three angles is the same. That is, angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C. Now, as we know from the angle sum property that the sum of the three angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Now, if we divide 180 degrees in three equal angles, it will be 60 degrees each. So in equilateral triangle measure of each angle is 60 degrees and it will be 60 degrees all the time. Now let's learn about one more triangle that is right triangle. A right triangle is one in which measure of one of the angles is 90 degrees or we can say one of the angles is right angle. See in the picture. In triangle ABC measure of angle B is 90 degrees. So it is a right triangle. Let's practice an example. In right angle triangle PQR we are given with measure of angle R is equal to 40 degrees and measure of angle Q equals to 90 degrees. We need to find out the measure of angle P. From angle sum property we know angle P plus angle Q plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's just plug in the values of angle R and angle Q. We get angle P plus 130 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. On subtracting 130 degrees from both the sides we get the measure of angle P equals to 50 degrees. This brings us to the end of the session. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.